This is the first time that Salome and her brother Jackson have been outside Kenya, where they belong to a Maasai tribe. So when they arrived in Paris, the exotic Jardin d'Acclimatation seemed almost like a home from home. Pascal Plisson, a French documentary maker, made a film about their lives in Kenya. Every day, the siblings have to walk across 20 kilometers of savannah to go to school. It's a journey full of obstacles and carries the risk of meeting dangerous wild animals. Maybe an animal will be in front of you. If there's an animal in front of you, it's better not to try and walk past because that could put your life in danger. Once we saw an elephant in front of our house. You know, elephants can't see very well, but they can smell human beings perfectly well. And this elephant had smelled us before we even realized he was there, so we walked into him and he started chasing after us and we ran. I want to finish primary school and go on to secondary school and then to university to become a professor. Jackson and Salome are one of four sets of people featured in the film Sur le chemin de l'école, On the Way to School, which was premiered in Paris. All the stories in the film deal with young people who are prepared to make extreme efforts to get an education. We came across 50 extraordinary stories of journeys and we had to choose which to film. I found these four stories outstanding because they are only kids, but they're really determined to go to school. The advantage they have, these kids who live at the end of the earth, is that they learn to cope on their own very early, to be courageous, to look after the young siblings, etc. They are, in fact, more mature than Western European kids and they are determined to go to school because they know that with education their lives will improve. Certainly, being determined to get to school has resulted in a life-changing journey for Salome and Jackson.